Okay, really good conditions this morning, so we're going to go out through the fisherman's gutter. Now, I've done this three or four times before, and you really do lo need local knowledge. And never attempt this if the conditions aren't pretty good, because uh, it can be a nasty bit of water, but it means that uh, we're not going to be in this washing machine that is the Wide Bay Bar for too long. So we're going to poke out through the fisherman's gutter. I'm going to leave this camera run uh, while we head out and um, see what I do, but that's about all the instruction I'll give you. Uh, it's about 10 minutes past seven now, so we'll see how long it takes to uh, get out through this gutter. Thank you. 
Well, we're back in deep water, it's uh, five metres again here, so that took us uh, 15 minutes. And uh, pretty doable in these conditions, but look, don't try that fisherman's gun unless you know what you're doing. And uh, in this trip, it has changed. I put a track in for the last uh, trip I did. Don't ask me for it because it's changed dramatically since the last time I did it. And it's a matter of being able to look at it and see where the deep water is. It's a good way of getting out of conditions, right? Um, yeah, I'm not going to give anyone a track across because it changes too much. Anyway, another way of getting out of uh, White Bay into uh, another way of getting out of the Sandy Straits to sea without um, going all the way across the washing machine that is the White Bay Bar.